Now, today's top stories in Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Happy New Year's Eve. Now here's a look at today's top stories. Ohio hit another milestone in the pandemic to round out 2020. More than 700,000 people in our state have had coronavirus with more than 9,600 new cases just today. Another 107 deaths were reported in the last 24 hours. That brings the total to just under 9,000. All but four of Ohio's 88 counties are now at level three red on the state's public health advisory map and all have high incidence of cases. Of course, people are being urged to ring in the New Year at home tonight, and that means a lot of those traditional New Year's Eve celebrations here in Northeast Ohio are going virtual. That includes the annual Chagrin Falls popcorn drop, which will take place at a secret location with a limited number of people. It will be streamed live on Facebook, though, and the annual walleye drop in Port Clinton <laughs> is going virtual as well. Let's talk weather for New Year's Eve. Hi, Mark. Well, we're dry for New Year's Eve, Rob and Courtney. That's the good news, albeit cold. We'll be in the middle and upper 20s as we ring in the new year at midnight with overnight lows near 25, clearing briefly and dry. Now, for your New Year's Day, we've got a winter weather advisory, 7 a.m. to about 1 p.m. for a wintry mix of, of light snow and freezing rain, becoming all rain during the afternoon as highs reach up to near 40 by 7 p.m. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.